is your girl Eunice Marie here and so today we are finally going to get around to reviewing the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination Concealer by It Cosmetics. If you guys are familiar, I received this in my glam bag for the month of January and I'm just now getting around to freaking reviewing it. I don't have on any type of makeup or anything because of course, you know, we gotta start fresh face when we're <laughs> trying out a new product. First, this is the Bye Bye Under Eye Illuminator Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. I got the color medium, and pretty much it just says, developed with plastic surgeons, this award-winning anti-aging concealer is highly pigmented, never creases or cracks, and truly covers everything, which we will definitely, uh, Put to the test okay paraben free cruelty free and then it says directions warm a tiny amount with fingers tap into skin and blend using your favorite it cosmetic brush can also be worn as foundation when you open it up it looks like this and this is the little sample size on the inside so it just says the same thing as far as like you know anti-aging and skin loving won't crease or crack and clinically shown to make skin look younger all right so like I said I got the color medium look how tiny that is if you guys hear music in the background don't mind it that's just my neighbor playing his music loud what else is new before we get started just take a look as you guys can see I'm already oily don't mind it but you guys can see I don't really have any a lot of any under eye dark circles or anything but they can always use a little bit of a pick-me-up. Let's see if it makes a big difference, okay? okay? So let's take a little bit of this. I'm hoping it's not too light, but this is in color medium, so... That's, an, that's what it looks like. Can you guys see? Um... All right, so let's just put it on. I probably put on a little bit too much. Oh yeah, probably put a little bit too much on. <laughs> um, you definitely don't need to use that much, okay? Um, I think I put a little bit too much on. Wow, yeah. I kind of went hard in the paint with this bad boy. Okay, I thought that was a little bit, y'all. Forewarning, um, you want to not put on too much of this stuff. But let's blend it out and let's see what happens. Um, it's very thick in consistency. Very thick. If you, very very thick. And then I'm just gonna take a brush and kind of try to blend it out underneath the eye area. Oh my goodness. I don't know. <laughs> um, I am not too sure about this product. It scares me a little bit. Um, yeah, um, woo, honey. See, I don't know if it's because I put too much. Is it because I put too much? Oh my God. Okay. Um, we're not gonna freak out yet. We're, we're, we're not gonna freak out yet. We are going to just go with the flow, okay? So we're gonna just say this is a highlight slash under eye. I definitely put too much on. As you guys can obviously tell. <laughs> um, the color is about right. I can see it on the brush that it gets a little brown. I mean, yeah, a little bit darker in color. Um, so, I'm not going to freak out yet because I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup, but um, this is what it looks like so far. We're not, we're not going to lose our mind yet, okay? Hold on. Hold the horse. Okay. So that is under eye concealer. I'm going to go ahead, apply the rest of my makeup, and then we're going to come back and I'm going to see if that makes a difference. Um, it's supposed to be a brightener, and as you can obviously tell, it does give you a brighter <laughs> under eye. Personally, I use a little bit too much. I didn't think that that little bitty amount was going to spread the way in which it did. Usually when I use my Maybelline concealer and all that, I use about the same amount 
and I'm pretty fine. But this right here, because I guess it's a, it's a highlighter, eye brightener, girl, don't put on too much. Um, it definitely will give you a lot of coverage with just a little bit. And, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay. All right, so um, I just went ahead and I just applied uh, my Milani foundation and then I set it with some of my NYX mineral powder, set it, don't fret it in the color medium as well. And um, you guys, I, I mean, personally for me, it's not something that I'm crazy about. There's a few things. Let me tell you also too why. Mainly because I am an oily skin prone chick. I get oily in this area of my face. Usually anything that highlights or illuminates, I do not mess with. As you can see, I did put foundation over it a little bit uh, and also some powder, which I don't think it did anything special for me. Like literally, like look, look at my face. Like my under eye area, does it look any more brighter to you? Or it looks probably shinier, but I'm not a big fan. Maybe, I think if you're a drier skin girl, this will work for you because you know, of course it's gonna illuminate, but I don't know. Like I just don't see myself really using this. Uh, it's just not really something that really does anything for me. So yeah. That's it. If you guys have tried this product, let me know down below. What were your thoughts? I know somebody said that they thought it was a little bit too thick, and this is really, really definitely super thick. I think this will be great as maybe a highlighter of some choice, maybe like in the down the bridge of the nose, maybe Cupid's bow. They also say you can use it as a foundation. Could be used as that as well, but just not for me and my skin type. It's too thick in consistency. It's a little bit too shiny, and I just think it's gonna be an issue. So it just doesn't work for me and my skin type, so yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff.